I have developed so many AI assistants using OpenAI APIs. In one project, I created an assistant that scrolls through your social media and a few other websites. It captures all the screenshots, it analyzes the content and prepares a personalized news for me. Every morning, it sends me a voice message and a report on Telegram. In another project, I built a personalized travel planner. This assistant, it receives a city that I plan to visit, then it checks the local weather. It creates a color-coded map, it devises a personalized itinerary with an optimized travel path, and it also compiles a travel guide complete with cultural insights. A recurring challenge in these projects was that a single assistant could not solve all the tasks. I had to design specialized assistants. One excelled at creating Word documents, another was adept at recommending places, and so on. So the point is, we cannot use one assistant for a lot of tasks. We have to create new assistants and we have to combine those assistants somehow. That's what I learned in my personal projects. Upon exploring the crew library, I realized that it enables the creation of multiple agents, each with specialized skills, roles and tools. Importantly, these agents can share a common memory, allowing each to be aware of others' actions and results. In this video, let's construct an AI assistant, which is also called agent, to simulate a classroom setting. One agent will act as a teacher, instructing on a topic, while other agents will play the role of students asking intellectual questions, ranging from beginner level, intermediate level, and higher level. The teacher agent will then incorporate these questions to make the class more engaging and interactive. Let's get started. Learning in a classroom is fascinating due to the intellectual questions that our friends ask. That prompts us to think more deeply. In this project, we will develop a teacher agent tasked with teaching a specific topic. Alongside this, we will create five student agents, one at a beginner level, two at an intermediate level, and two at an advanced level. After the teacher has presented the topic, these students will ask questions based on their respective levels of understanding. Finally, our teacher agent will integrate these questions to teach the topic in a more engaging and interactive manner. Now let's get into some coding. So I have imported some basic libraries. It also has my OpenAI key. The key can be seen in .environment file. This is the sample environment file. Here you can have some OpenAI key and then you can have your key here. Then you can load using load.environment li library. So let, let's run this. So there are two ways to install the library. You can use GitHub or you can use Crew AI using PyPy. So if you are using GitHub, it has the cutting edge recent stuff. And if you want more stable, you can use PyPy. Now I'm going to create an LLM and I'm also going to add some tools. Then I'll be talking about some of the key terminologies in Crew AI library, such as agents, process, tools, and so on. Uh, but before that, let's create a model and a tool. So here I have created a DuckDuckGo search tool. And by default, Crew AI library uses GPT-4 models. But now I'm going to use GPT Turbo models, which is new and which is cheaper than GPT-4 based models. So to do that, we'll be using Langchain OpenAI library. So you can install Langchain OpenAI library by typing this, pip install upgrade Langchain hyphen OpenAI. So once this is installed, you can use Langchain OpenAI dot chat models, import chat OpenAI. Then model chat open AI. So in the model name, we will be using the most recent model, GPT-4 Turbo Preview. So we have created a model. Now let's dive into crew AI library. So let's say we are going to create a classroom. The classroom has a teacher and few students. First of all, the teacher is going to talk about some topic. We will define some topic. Maybe let's make the topic as deep learning. Now I'm going to create a teacher. To create a teacher agent, we are going to import a few modules. So from crew AI, import agent, task, crew, and process. 
In large language models, when you ask some questions, you will get some response based on what it trained on. But in agents, we also have tools and some models attached to it. You also have some goal, backstory and few other things. So we'll be creating an agent first. So I'm creating teacher agent. Teacher agent has role. So it's a deep learning teacher. So we have defined that topic. Now I'm going to create some goals. So the main goal of this is teacher agent is it teaches deep learning to the students. Teach topic to a diverse group of students. Then backstory. So I'm going to say you are an experienced teacher specializing in deep learning. Your goal is to impart knowledge to a class with varying level of understanding. You enjoy challenges and strive to make complex concepts accessible. You answer students' questions and provide feedback on their understanding. So I'm going to copy paste. Now I'm going to say verbose equal to true so that we can see what's happening there. And allow delegation. I don't want teacher agent to delegate the task to other students. So it's false. And tools. Teacher can search internet if needed. And model. We are going to use GPT-4 Turbo Preview Model, so LLM equal to model. So we have created a teacher agent. It's done. Now I'm going to create other agents like Advanced Students 1, Advanced Students 2, Intermediate Students and Beginner Student. So I'm going to copy paste those. As you can see, I have created a few other agents, Advanced Students 1. The role is Advanced Student level student so the goal is understand advanced concepts in deep learning so backstory you are an advanced level student similarly i have created a few other students and intermediate and beginner so let's run this so far i have created all the agents now i'm going to create some task so the task is we will be creating five questions each student will ask some question based on their level of understanding and we will have a teacher task the first task is teacher teaches some concept then finally teacher incorporate all the questions and he or she creates one more teaching lessons so let's do that so i have created few tasks question one task description ask a challenging question related to advanced deep learning use the content thought by the teacher to frame your question you your question can be independent to other students question so i have similarly created a few other questions then teacher, write your teaching script for the class. Your main goal is to teach deep learning, write 1000 to 1200 words. Then finally, another final task is now rewrite your teaching script based on your earliest script. Incorporate the questions asked by the students and include your answer in your script for maximum engagement. So let's run this. So far we have created a task and agent. We can connect task and agent together using a crew. So now I'm going to create a classroom crew. Classroom crew. Agents. We can add all of our agents. Teacher, advanced students one, uh, to beginner students one. Then task. So in task, I want teach one, question one, then finally teach one more time. Then verbose equal to two so that we can see what's happening inside. Then process. Currently, Crew AI library supports only sequential task. In future, they'll be adding a few more hierarchy and other things. Sequential. I have created a crew. Now I'm going to start the class. Classroom result. Classroom crew dot kickoff. So currently it's running. You can see what's happening. It has finished the execution. You can see the, all the intermediate results. First, the teacher teaching some topic. And you can see the students asking some questions, advanced level student and intermediate student and beginner level student. Then based on the questions, teacher incorporating those questions and teaching the topic one more time. This looks good. Now I'm going to display the results. To display the results, I'm using IPython display, import display and markdown. Since this is a markdown, we can use IPython display for better viewing experience. So you can see this is a first 
task the output teacher teaching here there is no questions then after students asking some questions the teacher incorporate those questions and they reteach the topic you can see some of the questions are how do neural networks learn and what makes cnn so effective for image task how can implementing model simplification techniques in deep learning help in balancing the trade off between achieving high accuracy and ensuring model transparency they are great questions and you can see the answers incorporated in the teaching session so if you go through classroom.crew you can see all the task it has a few task that we uh, provided this is the first output so if you use model dump you can see all the keys that class crew uses so with this i have taken dot task 0 which is array then it i have taken the output and results i hope this is helpful see you all next time